Guys, today is pizza day. As promised, I am going to fire up my uh, pizza oven by Pizziella. If you've not seen that video of the unboxing, I'm going to drop a link up top. You can check that video out. There is a lot of pizza oven here offered at under 130 bucks. But hey, man, we definitely got to put it to the test because if it doesn't cook a good pizza, it doesn't matter if it's free. So that in here is what today's show is all about. The first thing I have to do is whip me up a nice pizza sauce. As that is going, I'll take you inside the house and show you how I made up this nice little easy pizza dough. It is foolproof. And then we will all come back over here into the shack and I will fire up this pizza oven. So look, man, I will make this show as brief as possible. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. As always, you'll have the full recipe down in the description. We will start out with three chopped garlic cloves. We got a little olive oil mixed in. We will hit that with some Italian seasoning and a little bit of sugar. Incorporate that together. We are on a low to medium heat. Now we will hit it with some chunky tomatoes. Now I like the chunky. You can go with more of a puree if you'd like. And get yourself a good brand as that definitely does make a difference. You're going to incorporate all this together. Bring it up to a low simmer. All right, look, so we will allow this sauce to thicken up. It is going to cook down a little bit. In the meantime, I want to take you inside and show you a quick, easy, simple, foolproof pizza dough. And this certainly is my go-to pizza dough recipe. Again, full recipe is down under show notes, but it is gonna start with three cups of flour and one of those packages of yeast. You're gonna incorporate that together. You want that water between 100 and 110. Build yourself a little well in the middle and put about three quarters in. You want to continue mixing. You want to bring it all that together, then hit it with the rest of that water. Then you are going to hit it with some olive oil and a little bit of honey. Oh, yeah. At that point, and continue to mix, continue to bring it together, adding flour when needed. When you find it workable, get it on a, a floured board, get some flour on your hands and start kneading it, start folding it, continue to fold it and fold it some more. And you want to continue to add flour on your hands, on the board and on the dough when needed. Usually I'll fold that. Usually I'll work that together probably for about four or five minutes. The more you do it, the better it's going to be. And look, I am by no means a pizza maker, a dough maker, but I find this method just as foolproof for me in making the uh, dough. I get a nice rise and that is, uh, that is half the ball game anyway. Yeah. Oh. So look, man, let's take a look where we are. We have our dough in the house rising. You saw me make that. I've also got the uh, sauce in the house cooling down. You saw me make that. I got a small cold bed going over there in a lawn. We will get this uh, pizza oven set up for the next part of the cook, and then we will make ourselves a pizza. So look, my plan here is to uh, uh, get a small cold bed going down inside this pizza oven here. I will then get some real wood, get it on top of the cold bed, build myself a nice little fire in here. Then I will get the uh, top part on and start bringing up that pizza stone. In the meantime, I will get my dough on the board over here and it is brutally cold out here, but I am going to do my best to make the pizza outside. Oh yeah. So as with most open fire concepts, whether the Lone Star Offset or a pizza oven, I find a coal bed works the best. I will get about, you know, 10, 15 coals down. I will hit it with some nice dried cherry wood. And after about two, three, four minutes, she will just start to light up. I will just continue to work it, adding another piece of wood. At that point, get the top on. And very important up there, you got to leave that handle up. As long as you leave the handle up, she will never get hot. Oh. And there is my piece of dough on a, a floured board. You get it? I like to kind of spin it around like that. Why? Who the hell knows? Oh. I will separate this into two parts. 
and I will start to make out my pizza the best as possible. Now, look, I am going to go with a, in Jersey, it's called a Sicilian pie. That is a, a thick pizza pie. Every time I make a thin a pizza pie, the, uh, the uh, liquid just is too much for the bottom and it kind of seeps through. That is on me. I am still learning this. So I find a thick pizza Sicilian pie works best. And there is our sauce. We will get our sauce down. Again, I like a kind of a chunky sauce. This is kind of like a marguerite pie. We will get our sauce down. We will hit it with some uh, fresh cut mozzarella. And look, this is polio whole milk. There is no other. And I got some fresh basil. I will sprinkle that around. Lastly, I will hit it with some uh, cracked black pepper, some salt, and some granulated garlic. Set reminder next time to build the pizza pie on the peel. Yeah. So look, I am going to show a lot of footage on this pie here. I want you to get a good feel on what is happening. And basically, you could see we got a nice rise, man. That is again, man. This is Sicilian, man. This is a thick crust pizza. Oh. So for an oven like this, man, you got to leave it in. you got to cook it through. Anytime you were going with a thick pie, so if you were doing a thick pie in an oven that gets 1,000 degrees, it would probably be impossible. So I'm going to leave this in. I am just going to work it. I mean, look at the smoke that is hovering over the pizza. And as you can see, we are 614 degrees on that stone. That is perfect. I mean, again, I can't say it enough, man. Look at the smoke that's coming out the back, man. That is kissing this pie, and I could tell you, you could taste it. So we are coming up on about four minutes. I'm gonna spin the pie again. I am definitely liking what I see so far for sure. And as you can see, we are holding steady at 613 on that stone. That is perfect. I'm thinking we're done, but there's one thing I got to check, and that is the bottom, and she is looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. All right, little update here. We are definitely nailing this one. I mean, it is a thicker crust. My problem is I do a thin crust pizza and the, uh, the, the sauce I put on has too much liquid in it and it messes up the bottom. This one is thick crust, but this one is coming out perfect. those of you all that stuck with this video man that right there is a pizza pie man that is a sicilian that is a lot of flavor man that is cheesy good all right man what could i say every time i tell the wife i'm about ready to do some pizzas she runs for cover. I mean, the mess in the shack is unreal for one friggin' pizza pie, but it is what it is, man. 40 years in a kitchen, but there is definitely a learning curve with these pizzas. And I have to say, not bad on this one, man. Uh, some of the other ovens, they cook them too fast. That is my one big gripe. They cook them too fast. So, so if you're not up to on what you're doing, you are gonna burn the pizza. There is no doubt about it. I mean, two minutes of pizza, forget it, man. This one took me about five minutes. And if you could see the, uh, the bottom looks pretty good. I'm gonna slice it, it is definitely crunchy. I'll do a quick taste test and we will wrap up the show. Gave you guys a little look listen there. This almost reminds me of the, uh, the thick, uh, thick crust pizza we used to get at a, a fair in town. It used to be thick crust like this. 
and um, it's cooked though it is cooked right through I left it in a little longer the bottom is perfect as you can see so that is a uh, that is a home run there it is still piping hot cheers right, guys so look man this is dynamite in my neck of the woods as soon as I bit into it I knew exactly what I had here and that is called a Sicilian pie that is a thick crust pizza. They're in the uh, pizzerias around town here, and I'm not sure if they are where you live, but that is what I got here is a, uh, a nice Sicilian pizza pie. Tasty stuff, no doubt about it. So look, this is my, uh, this is my verdict over here. Um, you could use this as an oven. You could use it as a uh, stove, some burgers, uh, a grill. You can also use it as a little fire pit if I pull this off. You got a nice warm fire right there. Look for the price, man. You cannot beat it, man. That is for sure. You can do a lot of things with this thing, and that is what I like. I'll tell you another thing. I'm getting a lot of smoke flavor in this pizza. So that is a good thing right there. So I am going to close out this show. I'll have information on this uh, pizza oven slash grill down in the description. For me, it is a straight out go for $109. What this is going for now on sale, it is a steal. Again, my name is Tommy, and I appreciate you all for coming along. And until next time, we will see you soon.